of the patient's problem. He's 75 years old. Uh, he's, uh, retired. he's retired and uh, the main complaints are strong pain in the dorsum of the forearm. Um, the associated complaints, he came in and said that he had anesthesia of the fingers and the dorsum of the hand and dehydration. We asked the history of the disease and the patient, he has Parkinson uh, and uh, he had tremors. So he was cooking with oil and the pen turned mainly into his hand and spread into the forearm. So he had a full thickness burn into the hand and partial um, into the forearm. Uh, and he waited three days until he went to the hospital and the pain was increasing and the, uh, the hand was also changing color. It was starting to get necrotic. So he didn't want to concern anyone, go uh, asking someone to take him to the hospital. Uh, so he he treated himself with, uh, I don't know, plants medication. Um, so he had he hadn't done any treatment. Uh, so he the subject of examination, he had uh, he didn't smoke. Uh, he smoked. He didn't drink alcohol. Uh, he had a bad diet, he was sedentary, and diseases he had Parkinson uh, for already uh, 15 years. Hello, so I will be your doctor today. My name is Olivia. Can you please tell me your name? Pablo. Pablo, okay. So, how old are you? 74. 74, okay. So, your address? David Claus, over 73. Your occupation? Um, retired. Mm -hmm. So your uh, what what do you, what do you feel? What are your complaints? I, I work at home, and then I did this this thing. It was like three days ago, but now I'm feeling a lot of pain here. So it was three days ago. Okay, and how strong is the, is the pain? In a scale of what zero to ten? It's like a hundred. Okay, and where exactly is the pain? Is it in the palm of the hand, in the dorsum, in the forearm? Oh, really, I, I cannot really like exert so much like in my arm, like here. Everything hurts, okay. So, do you feel, if I touch uh, yeah. the dorsum of your hand, do you feel pain in here? Mm, yes, or not? I, do you feel I, 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 like, In I, here, I, if, I if I touch your finger, no, do you it's feel? Like, not so much. So you don't feel when I touch? I feel the pressure. Okay, okay. So... The pressure. Uh-huh. Um, <laughs> Sorry. So where exactly is the pain? Can you let me know? It's like in my arm here, the right arm. Okay, and what about the, the hand? Because do you feel when I touch the no, hand? No, not so much. Okay, so you don't feel when I touch the hand, the fingers. Uh, okay, do you have any disease? I have Parkinson. Parkinson, okay. Do you take any medication for it? <laughs> no. Uh, yes, yes, I take it. Do I you don't remember know the name. name? Okay, you don't remember the name. It's true. Uh huh. Do you smoke? No. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. Um, do you drink alcohol? No. No, okay. What about your diet? Is it healthy? Yes. Okay. Uh, so, do you live with anyone that anyone that can assist no, you? No, my family abandoned me. Your family abandoned you. Okay. So you don't have any daughters, anyone that no, can I help have you? No, I but they live in other country. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the conclusion according to the main symptoms and the main complaints of the patient is that he has burned his hands. Uh, we, I, I'm think, I think that it's a uh, full thickness burn into the hand because he doesn't feel touch into the fingers 
and just for showing the forearm because he still feels feels pain and everything, and also because of the color. So the inspection, general condition of the patient is <coughs> suffering conformity with age is normal, consciousness is 15 on the Glasgow scale, posture is normal, look at the face, suffering, weight 16, height 170 centimeter, constitution normal stainless, skin is pale, fluffy pain is fat, is normal, edema is absent, lymphatic system is normal, muscular bone joint, vertebral problem in head, all normal. Eyes are depressed, lips are pale and dry, signs of dehydration. Neck and thyroid plan seems normal. And body temperature is high, uh, there's fever. And our examination of the system. Uh, respiratory system is normal. Cardiovascular system is normal. GIT system is normal. And local status of the hand. Um, Okay, so this will be local examination examination of the local status. First, we need to move the patient to sterile environment, and then we need to cut off the old bandage. So if it's hard to cut off, we can just pour some hydrogen peroxide and then it will be uh, easily dissolved and removed. So, so in examination, we see uh, at the hand, at the dorsum of the hand, there's necrotic changes and at the forearm, there's, push, um, there's blisters and redness. It indicates that there's a partial thickness of the wound, this full thickness of the wound. And we need to also check under, under the hand. And we can also see necrotic changes and redness and blisters. So, just, so after examination, we need to uh, apply iodine and chorexidine, and then uh, we need to uh, bandage it up. This go. Okay, as you can see, there's necrosis on the dorsum of the hand, and there's redness and blisters on the forearm indicates this indicates partial thickness of the wound and this is full thickness of the wound and we need to apply i mean we need to apply sensation test with the pen at this part yes there will be sensation at this there will be no sensation <coughs> and then we okay we check the door the hallmark there will be no necrosis and no no blisters on the other side and yeah, we need to apply silver. Okay, silver diazin and apply bandage. Fingers too.